The SPY T trading lifestyle is for those who wish to be aggressive in their trading, but really don't like day trading, maybe don't even have the time for day trading. But the thing is, there's a style and there is a mental approach to SPY T trading, and it's important if you want to be successful. SPY T trading is an aggressive overnight swing trade. We buy at the end of the trading day and we sell in the morning. And just like all trading, it is a mental game. And a big part of our mental game is letting it go. So what do I mean by let it go? At the end of the trading day, around four o'clock Eastern Standard Time, actually during the last seconds of the trading day, a SPY T trader will put on their trade. It may be a SPY T A trade, SPY T B trade, Q or S trade. It all depends on the ETF they're trading. Often it's either SPY, QQQ or IWM. Some people like to trade actual stocks such as Apple or maybe Tesla or Google. There are many different ways to approach it. But at the end of the trading day, once you put on that trade, you let it go. You don't keep watching the market. The time to watch the market again is maybe about a half hour before the market opens the next day. One reason why we avoid day trading is because of those emotional ups and downs. It's really hard. And the idea behind SPY T trading is we place our trade and we let it go until the next day. Yes, it may be worrisome if you're not sure what might happen the next morning. It is still a mental game. However, once you let go, there's nothing you can do about it until it's time to exit the next morning. What direction the market may be going? Maybe it's going in our direction, maybe it's not. Of course, most of the time it is because of our algorithm. But look, we all go in streaks. We go in good streaks, bad streaks, and we need to be prepared for every scenario. Although SPY T traders have a strong indicator, which helps give us a good probability of how the market might open the next day, we really don't know for sure. Anything could happen overnight. So we have to make note of the things we do have control of, such as which SPY T trade that we make. If we're going to be more aggressive with a SPY T Q trade or less aggressive with a SPY T S trade. But we also have to consider volatility. A SPY T S trade does not work well in low volatility. So maybe we'll consider a SPY T BT trade, which is good in most situations, most types of volatility. We also have control over what we trade, QQQ, IWM, SPY, a stock, and of course, our position size. How aggressive are we going to be? Are we going to trade 5% of our account, 1%, 10, 20%? Obviously, the more you risk, the more reward, but the more you risk, the more loss opportunity. So I recommend you start off a little more conservative and then gradually work your way up to more aggressive positions as you gain confidence. So if we believe the market is going our way, maybe we'll follow some of our options up further. Maybe there's been a big spike, but we think after the market opens, it's gonna come back down. So we will sell some of our options and then follow the other ones down. And that means we could expand our gains or in some cases we need to minimize our losses. This doesn't mean we never go directional, just buying a call or a put. However, those positions are very small, very small position sizes. But we might do this if we have a good indication or sometimes just a gut feeling as to how the market might open the next day. And we wanna take advantage of that opportunity. But of course, when you go directional, that means you can lose more compared to a SPY T trade that has a hedge for safety. The nice thing about SPY T trading is that it is rather straightforward. The time frame in which we buy and sell, of course, the ratio trades using options, either two to one or three to one, depending on how aggressive you want to be. And then of course, the signal over at spytomorrow.com, which is simply up or down. And of course, if you're a member, you get to see different pressure readings such as confidence numbers, which will help you decide on maybe the position sizes you wish to use. But the signal's still free at the end of the trading day, four o'clock Eastern Standard Time. We spy T-Trade because we want to be a part of an aggressive trading approach, but we don't want the ups and downs and extreme stress that other trading methods provide, especially day trading. So we let go at the end of the trading day and resume the next day for our exit. 
and we don't beat ourselves up. This is important. There are days in which we're going to have a loss and there are days in which we're going to have extreme wins. But the thing is, we look at it over a week at a time, over a month at a time, over a year, not day to day. That's the stress we don't want. I developed and continue to trade SPY T for the long-term benefits and opportunity. Now, yes, there is overnight gains and big gains at times. However, if you feel like you need to make money tomorrow, trading in the market in general is probably not right for you. Also, if you're jumping from trading method to trading method, you probably also don't have the temperament to be a spy T trader or any kind of trader in the stock market. But with a trading system that is designed to maximize gains and minimize losses, well, I can sleep better at night and I hope you can too. I'll see you in the next video.